Um, hi, this is uh, Tom at Tabor9. This is just going to be a vid of my corn snake and um, my Kenyan Sambo. I haven't done a video on them uh, in, you know, in quite a bit. I've been um, just showing you know videos of my ball pythons and stuff like that. So I'll show you them too. And at the end, I'll still show you a few of my ball pythons just because they're really good. Um, Get it down there in the light. That's done. Yeah. Right. Um. Do the corn snake first. As you can see, it's there. I don't know. If you think it was around? A bit, a little bit jumpy. Um, still very small though. Um, if you can see it on the bed, you know, still, still very small. Oh, it's a bit jumpy sometimes. That's it. Right, I'm back under there. Oh, there's it's set up, you know, just water ball under the bit of leaves, decoration, and hide and bite. And it's just, you know, perfect in there. And um, that's just like the right size for the age it's at. So, if you want to see any more in detail, um, you know, send me a message and I'll like. Oh, oh. can you see that? That's deeply in shed. Just got a water bowl basically. Um, sand. I don't know if you can see, but the colours on that, um, you can definitely tell if you've ever owned one of these snakes. They go all grey. I'd be surprised if this doesn't shed today. This is um, really just just off shed. So, um, I'm going to leave it alone, Let's go back into there, and it's got a water bowl there, even though it's a desert species so they don't really use it, just in case it wants to get that bit of extra humidity. Um, you don't really want to spray them much because they can get belly rot um, from the dampness because, you know, they're a desert snake, but um, yeah, I can tell that's... Um, that's definitely in, in shed. Um, the big female ball path that I've got over there did shed the first day I got it. Um, so I don't know you know, how many times a month or whatever it is they shed. Um, but this is shed twice now in the old time I've had it. So I've had it for quite you know, a long time now. Um, yeah, it's feeding day tomorrow. Um, so I'll show you. Um, I'm going to be feeding these two small ones, the corn snake at the Kenyan Sambo and also the big female and the small female but I don't know if they're male or late but I'll try it um, just so you can see but the big female as you'll see tomorrow um, I just put put the frozen fod, I always use frozen fod um, just because it's safer the the, the rat or mice mouse can't bite the snake and cause it injury um, you know it's just better and obviously I feel a bit tight doing that just well I've got, I've got no against it but um, I've got some as pets you see so it'd be a bit weird for me to get have some as pets and you know to be feeding them as well but um, yeah so frozen forward and as soon as I put it in I just put it in and then kind of like Close the lid a bit so it can't, you know, get my hand. Obviously, I've obviously got them forks that are like blunt on the end, so nothing can happen. Um, and it, she'll just grab it as soon as she sees it in seconds. Um, the these two small snakes are actually really good eaters as well. Um, did that first time. You know, all the times I've had them. 
So every 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 time I go to feed them, um, they just eat it straight away. With you know, just don't put it in, they'll just grab it straight away. I try to feed this. Uh, well, I am gonna do. I'm gonna try and feed this Kenyan sambo out of the sand, just in, you know, just so I don't get anything in its mouth or anything. Um, the corn snakes are alright, so I'm back. And yeah, that's it. Um, I did, um, um, obviously, um, my breeding plan, so I don't need to do more of them. Um, but I'm just really excited, so I just want to get, like I said before, um, a heck orange ghost spider. And if I were looking on this genetics site, where they show genetics, and um, I'll just get my female out, just while I am uh, talking about it. Yeah, it were one of them like genetic genetics calculators. Just put them over there, and you could like, you know, choose a species which were ball python, um, and it had all the different types of morphs, and you know, on two lists on two sides, and you click one and click the other, and it'll tell you what you'd get, you know, stuff like that. And in the, the in the ghost section, it said. It said hypo slash ghost, so that's like the, means the same. And it said orange ghost, and then it also said green ghost. So, are there different types? Because I've looked at some on the internet and ghost, and they're just like all white, pale. But then I've looked at some that are called orange ghost, which this is het for, and it's all, you know, orange and really nice, still with the, you know, not got much black pigment but really orange <coughs> excuse me um so i'm just wondering you know is, is it different because um if i bought a spider het ghost and it you know and bred it to this i probably won't get honeybees i'd have to get a spider het orange ghost well that's what i'm assuming anyway so if i'm right be helpful if someone could just you know send me a message about that um and that's it um there's the female, as you can see. I'll try and get her out quickly, but she likes it. She likes it, yeah. There she is. There's a little girl as well. Um, and all I do as soon as I go into the cage, um, I just stick my hand from this side, stroke her so she knows that I'm coming, and I just pick her up. And that's basically it. Um, she's in a ball at the moment, but um, she'll calm down in a minute. Um, so, yeah. Um, what well, I'm going to go on what I just said and get her. Male spider, het orange ghost, just to be safe. But you know, if if it is different ghost or hypo or you know to orange ghost, be really helpful if someone could tell me because you know I've obviously seen a lot of different stuff and it's just looks different. Um, right, uh, turn up to one. If you want to see any other animals in more detail, just you know send me, a co just comment me or send me a message. Um, keep subscribing. Thanks to my subscribers, I've got you know. And I'll write them out now. Um, I'll just put her on the bed while I put her eyes back in. And yeah, thanks. Um, so, to much more, I'm Eric. Uh, subscribe. Bye.